In this video, I'm going to show you how to embed a beautiful Google Reviews feed like this inside Elementor. To do this, we'll be using the Smash Balloon Reviews Feed Pro plugin. I'll be demonstrating using the pro version of the plugin, but you can check out the free version through the WordPress repository, but with less features. To purchase and download Reviews Feed Pro, head over to smashballoon.com, and once purchased, you can find your download link and license key for the plugin inside your Smash Balloon account. Download Reviews Feed Pro and head over to your WordPress dashboard. Next, inside your dashboard on the left-hand side, hover over Plugins and click on Add New. Then click on Upload Plugin at the top and upload the zip file for Reviews Feed Pro, like this, and click Install Now. Once installed, go click on Activate Plugin. And there we go, Reviews Feed Pro has now been installed and activated. Before we can create our first Reviews Feed, let's go ahead and activate the license key for the plugin. On the left-hand side, you'll now notice Reviews Feed. Go ahead and click on that. And inside the plugin, you can paste your license key at the top here. Go ahead and paste it like this and click Activate. And now our license key has been activated, so we can go click on Add New to get started. And the first step of creating a Reviews Feed is to add a source. We can go click on Add Source at the bottom. And now you can see all the different source types available with the plugin. With Reviews Feed Pro, you can embed reviews from Google, Facebook, TripAdvisor, Yelp, Trustpilot, and WordPress.org. In this video, we want to display our Google reviews, so I'm going to select Google and click Next. And now we'll have to add a Google API key. I've already got mine ready, but if you want to learn how to create one for yourself, you can click on the video tutorial on the top right corner of your screen, or follow our written guide in the description of this video. Once you have your API key, enter it like this and click Next. And for the final step of adding our source, we'll have to enter the place ID. To find the place ID for the location you want to display, go click on this link here. This so will take you into the Google Maps platform, and if you scroll down, we have this tool here that lets us find our place IDs. For this video, I want to display reviews from the Organic Grill in New York City. That's this one here. I'm going to select it, and you can see instantly we have that place ID displayed in front of us. Let's go ahead and copy it, and back inside the plugin, we can go and paste it here like this, and click Finish. And now we can see that our source has been added to the plugin, and it's already selected for us here, so we can go click on Next. And now finally, on our last step, we'll have to select the template for the layout of our reviews feed. We have options like the default, simple cards, masonry, single review, and more. For this tutorial, I'm going to go with the simple cards and click Next. And just like that, we have a live preview of our new Google reviews feed right in front of us. All the latest Google reviews for the organic grill are displayed inside this feed. We can now go and embed this on our Elementor web page, but before we do that, let me show you how we can customize this. On the left-hand side, under the Customize tab, if you go into Layout, you'll find options to modify the layout of your reviews feed. Currently, we have the list layout selected, which displays your reviews in a single column list. Next, we have the masonry layout, which displays your reviews in rows and columns. And lastly, we have the carousel layout, which allows you to swipe through the reviews like this. For this video, I'm going to keep the list layout. And if you look below, you can also choose how many reviews you want to display inside the feed. Currently, we have four displayed, but if you want to change that, all you have to do is enter the number of reviews you want to display, just like this. And you can see that change has been made inside the live preview on the right hand side. I'm going to change that back to four. And once you're happy with the layout of your reviews feed, go click on save on the top right corner. Next, if you want to modify how the reviews are displayed inside your feed, under the Customize tab, go click on Reviews. Next, go into Edit Individual Elements. And inside this menu, you'll find all the different elements inside each review, such as the author and date, rating, review paragraph, and images and videos if they're available. And you can see that the order in which these are stacked correlate exactly to how they are stacked inside the review. If you want to modify this arrangement, all you have to do is hover over the element like this and drag it to the position you want to place it in, like this. We've just dragged the author and date to the bottom, and you can see that change reflected inside the live preview. I'm going to move that back to the top, and for another example, if you want to move the rating to the bottom, you can do that as well, just like this. And instantly, that updates for us inside the preview once again. And if you want to hide any of the elements inside the reviews, all you have to do is uncheck it like this. And you can see that the rating has now disappeared. And if you want to bring it back, you can recheck it just like this, and it returns right back inside the review. I'm going to move this back to the top, underneath the author and date. And if you're happy with the changes, go click on Save on the top right corner. Lastly, if you want control over the reviews you display inside your feed, go into the Settings tab and click on Filters. Inside, you'll find several ways to filter the reviews inside your feed. At the top, you can filter reviews based on their star rating, and below that, you can also add words to hide or show certain reviews containing those words. And lastly, at the bottom, you can also enter a minimum and maximum count for your reviews. This way, you can choose whether you want to show short and snappy reviews or long and depth ones. And if I go back into the settings and click on Moderation, we can enable Moderation Mode, which gives you even more control with the Allow and Block list. In the Allow list, all your reviews are hidden by default apart from the ones you manually choose to hide like this. And in the Block list, it displays all your reviews by default apart from the ones you choose to manually hide. With the filters and moderation options, you have complete control over the reviews you display inside your feed. And if you made any changes, make sure to click Save on the top right corner. Now that you know how to create and customize your Google Reviews feed, let me show you how we can embed it on our WordPress webpage. To do that, go click on Embed on the top right corner, copy your dedicated shortcode, then click on Add to a page. Next, select the page you want to add your feed to, like this, and click Add. 
and inside your page, you can go click on Edit with Elementor. And here we are now inside our Elementor webpage. If I scroll down, this is where we'll embed our Google reviews. And to embed our feed inside our Elementor webpage, we have to use a shortcode element. Let's go ahead and search for that here, like this. And it's this one here, so we can click and drag it and drop it on our page just like this. Now on the left-hand side inside this element, we can go and paste our shortcode that we copied earlier. And you can see instantly we have a live preview of our new Google Reviews feed inside our Elementor webpage. We can now click on Update and check out what it looks like on the live website. And here we are on our live Elementor webpage. And if I scroll down, under the Customer Reviews, we have our brand new Google Reviews feed. This feed is currently displaying all the latest reviews for the location we added to the feed. And if I scroll down to the bottom, you'll see a Load More button. And if I click on that, it will load even more reviews directly inside our Elementor webpage. And at the top, we have a Write a Review button. And if you click on that, that will take you into a Google search for that location with a prompt here asking you to leave a review. This makes it super convenient for site visitors to go and leave a Google review for your business. So we've successfully embedded a Google Reviews feed on our Elementor webpage. If you have any questions about what I covered in this video, please let me know in the comments below. If you have any technical issues, please contact your awesome support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.